All right, Siri light test three. Power on lights. Okay. Test three is successful. I remember back in 2008 when Iron Man first came out, everybody went insane about Jarvis because Tony Stark had a smart home. It inspired literally so many companies to make their own smart home devices. And now it's so easy to have your own smart home because you can just go out and buy all the supplies. I thought it was so cool that Tony Stark was able to build all of these things on his own. And then he had this personal assistant that he could control his whole house with his voice. Ever since that movie, I literally have wanted to make my own smart home. And that's the reason I started my coding journey actually. And I know it's so easy to go out there and get your own smart home and buy all these devices that you can use for your own smart home, but that's not as fun. The reason we learn how to code is to build, create, and be creative. So making my own and eventually making my own Alexa, Google Home, whatever you want to call it, that will control my entire house with my voice. That's a lot cooler than going out there and just spending money just to have a smart home. So the first step is I'm going to make these RGB lights right here on my desk, voice activated. Currently they're controlled with this remote right here and I can change colors with it, do whatever, but that's not good enough for me. I need it when I'm laying in bed and I'm super lazy. I don't wanna have to get up and find this remote because you know it gets lost. My voice is a much easier thing to use than my hands. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get to it. So there is this app, Magic Home, and those are the type of RGB lights. I just bought them off Amazon. I figured if there was an app that could just turn them on and off, I could create my own version of turning them on and off, and I'm actually gonna connect that with Siri on my phone. I found this NPM package that is going to allow me to actually do exactly what that app does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into a file, and then with the new Siri from iOS 12, there is so many things you can do with the Shortcuts app, and you can actually run scripts from your iPhone to your computer, and it can run the file that I write. So that is how it's going to be voice activated. Let's try it. First thing we're going to do is just make a file to turn the lights on. All right, so according to the docs, first thing I want to do is discover, right? Simple discovery example. I need to see if my lights actually exist. So I have to scan for them. And when I do something with that result, then I can, I guess, control, set power on, set color, warm white, set color. There's a lot of stuff I can do. So that's why programming is literally the coolest thing ever. All right, new discovery. It's literally just a class. See if we pick up any devices. I'm literally just gonna run this quick. All right, so I did get back the IP of my lights. So after you discover, I guess we can just get rid of this. Now we need to go back to this control. All right, so light.set power. All right, so now we test, moment of truth. All right, so we open this terminal and now we can just run the same thing again. It's magic, baby. So now literally all we have to do is hook this up to Siri and set up some more commands, lights on, lights off, all the strips, and then we can use our voice to use this. No more remote, let's do it. So the way Siri works is it can only run one file, right? So what I'm gonna do is set up RGB on, off, and then change colors because with a Siri command, you'd say, Siri, turn my lights on, and it would turn those lights on, but you're not gonna give Siri 10 commands at once and it's not gonna run all those commands. So we just save them all in their own files and we write all different scripts for those files. Let's get to work. Eventually, like I said, I'm gonna make my own Alexa with probably a Raspberry Pi. But until then, we're just gonna use Siri as a tester for all of these things that I wanna do. It's gonna take me a minute to make my own Alexa, but then we can just run all this software once we already made it and tested it right on the Alexa once it's built and we're good. All right, so we have on and off set. We're about to test if this off works. We just gotta open up the terminal. Lights are on, lights are off. Set color, red, green, blue. Appends the specified color to the list of colors in the effect. We're just gonna start with setting colors for red, green, or blue, and then we'll go from there. I really like this blue, so this is one of the blues we're gonna have. So I need an RGB value. So we have 33, 118, 255. All right, so we have this moment of truth again, rgbblue.js. And now we're gonna try this command, see if it turns the blue color that we want. This blue color does pretty closely match with what we're looking for. I really like this color right here. So if we just make a new file, I can actually copy all this stuff. It's the same thing every time. All right, so we got 117, 255, 179. RGB light test two, it's a go. <laughs> that green doesn't look much different than that blue, but in person, I promise you, it looks a lot more green than it does on this camera. <laughs> So this is gonna be the last file we make, and then we're gonna set this up with Siri. This works right here, 255, 53, 53. 
All right, so let's test this one more time. RGB light test, three and three, two, one. All right, so now the way that we're gonna do this, we have to set this up, these files that I just made with Siri and Siri shortcuts. So to be able to do that, what you need to do is you can open up text edit, that works, <clears throat> and make it a plain text. All right, so the first test we're gonna do with Siri is RGB on. We need to make this into a script because right now it's just a text file. Let's try this now. All right, there we go. We need to hop on over to my phone and we're gonna set up Siri. We're gonna create a shortcut. What you wanna search for is SSH and you're gonna wanna run a script over SSH. The host is gonna be the IP address of your computer. The user is going to be your username and password that you used to log into your computer. And then for the script, because this is on my desktop, all I have to do is type open and then the name of the file that I saved it as, which is rgb-on. Power on lights. So you're gonna have to record. Power on lights. And there we go. And here comes the test. I have to turn these lights off real quick. Siri test one, lights on. Power on lights. Sorry, there was a problem with the app. Okay. So, failed. So I'm coming in checking Siri shortcuts, SSH. Test one failed. All right, we're just gonna try this again. Definition of insanity, thinking there's gonna be a different response, but that's the plan. All right, Siri light test three. Power on lights. Okay. Test three is successful. Now all we wanna do is, we just wanna set up powering on, off, and the colors. So we're gonna do that real quick, and then we're gonna come back and test them all. All right, so now what we have to do is make the rest of these. RGB on, this can be RGB off. I didn't do that correctly. All right, we got one more. So we have RGB green, RGB off, red, blue. So we just have to set up all the rest of these on my phone right now with Siri shortcuts, and we're gonna test them all in unison. Turning them on, changing the colors, and then turning it back off. That will be Siri lights, mark one. Let's do it. Power off lights. Turn lights red. Turn lights blue. All right, last one. Turn lights green. All right, everything is set up. It is time to see if Siri lights Mark One works. Power on lights. That's done. Turn lights green. That's done. Turn lights red. That's done. Turn lights blue. Okay. Last one. Power off lights. Okay. Siri lights Mark One, success. So today we set up part one of our smart home series. Now we are using Siri to be the intermediary before I create my own smart assistant, but for now Siri works. And we're just gonna keep building things on top of this project that we have until we have all the software done that I want. It's gonna get pretty complicated. You guys are gonna take this journey with me. The lights are basically done. I obviously wanna add some more functionality, but that's mark one. Hopefully we get up to like mark 60, like Iron Man, mark 7,622. But that's basically it. Until next time guys.